Hello and welcome to this video taken in August this year 2017 Sunnyside Hospital Hillside Montrose Angus Scotland. I've done a video of this place over the last three or four years and seen it deteriorate to a ridiculous level. I know there's been some sold or I've read somewhere in the Dundee paper online that some of it's been sold and they've got to do houses and they have to renovate some. But I get this strong feeling they're leaving it until it is beyond saving. And then they can say, well, we can't do it now. It seems to be the way of things. Nothing new goes on all over the world. It's not just Scotland. But I'll shut up now and let you have a look. Now I've speeded some of it up where I've been walking around. So you'll have to live with that or just stop the video at bits you want to see. I know a lot of people work there and a lot of people married a lot of people that work there and a lot of people have got family that work there. It was a huge employer way back in the day. So I'll shut it now and just chuck in a few comments as we go along. I did notice there were several more forced entries had been created compared to last year. The doors open. I didn't go in too far because of the amount of asbestos in the place. I'm very aware of it. As you can see the ceilings hanging down there. And I don't want to be breathing in asbestos at my time of life. <laughs> After the years of smoking, you wouldn't think it'd make any difference, but I gave up smoking donkeys years ago, and I'm not taking up inhaling asbestos. And yes, I am sometimes jogging. I don't jog for long, otherwise I just fall flat on my face. But I do jog in places, especially as this is such a vast area. And I want to get around as much as I can. I'm not running fast, but you can tell with the camera, even speeding it up, that uh, I am jogging. The area to the right, not the left. <laughs> Hello, what have I seen? That area to the right is literally been left open. All the skylights have been removed and that wasn't vandals. That's been for a few years now. And I did find a memory card showing inside there. Never, nobody's ever claimed it. And I'm not surprised if they've been breathing in all that asbestos. <laughs> I shouldn't say that, that's cruel. But it's deteriorating pretty badly. 
that's what I was looking at. And I've come back to get a picture of it. <laughs> because I can. It makes a change. <laughs> yeah. And amongst all this horror story here, there must be some beauty. Another entrance point. Good luck to anybody wanting to go in without masks and all their equipment. Now, I have no idea why I left my fingers in that shot. That's just to show I'm there, I think. Or stop the camera wobbling quite as much. I've bought a gimbal, so all my videos from this year on, later this year onwards, should all improve on move, with the moving parts, because the gimbal should even things out a little bit. I could remove that, edit that bit out, but it's still showing interesting parts of the building. I just must have had my hand over the top of the camera. Uh, enough for the lens to see me anyway, obviously. <laughs> Get those fingers out the way, Jimmy.
I saw the sign stuck on the inside of this window and it intrigued me on about the activated silent alarm and 24-hour call, etc., etc. I don't think so. <laughs> in fact, I can put my camera... I think I did put my camera in. Yep, there you go. I'm having a look for any sensors or LED motion sensors. But I think the letter is just a joke, because there's certainly no alarms going off. And I think whoever smashed the window with that notice on it was sort of saying, ha ha, there isn't any. <laughs> Another load of boarding being pulled down and the windows broken and graffiti on the doors. And they can't even get in because of that huge padlock. Obviously some sort of waiting room. Somebody watching this will know what it was. This building on the left has just been allowed, it's collapsed and it's not going to get any better for leaving, that's for sure. You can see where the roof's gone down. And because I've got my camera on a long monopod, I can get higher up to see. And obviously the main timber supporting the roof have just collapsed because of the amount of water that's got in through the windows missing up on the skylights. There's a gate further down on the right here, so I shall lift my monopod up and have a peek over the top. Just see what's going on. No, not that way, you fool. The other way. To the right. To the right! That's it. Oh, make your mind up. That's it. Now, look over that gate. Do it now. Dangerous building. Well, it would be with a roof down. But the rest could have been saved. Look at it. Maybe I'm just nostalgic. Maybe it's just not worth saving. Right, off we go again. Oil tanks, I don't know what we could use them for. <laughs> Oil maybe. 
I think that's been old transport sheds over that side because there's a, a way bridge there. It could have just been goods in, but it looks like it's been used for transport. It's very depressing going and seeing it year after year and watching it deteriorate and nobody actually doing damn all about it. It must be worth a lot of money to somebody. Somebody must be going to get a fortune out of it. Otherwise they wouldn't have left it to lie far like this. We'll find something pretty to have a look at. Here we go. Some Taws. <laughs> nice to see. Oh, there's some more. A basin full of rubbish. And newspapers. And dates on them. So they've definitely been thrown in here after the hospital closed. Looky looky. Car up there, must be somebody just parked there and gone walking their dogs. I haven't seen a soul while I've been here. Not seen a soul and now I've spotted somebody at the old bus stop here. In the bus shelter. Does the old fool not know there's no buses running? There's no buses running, Jimmy. Hello, what's he say on his t-shirt? Uh, no, I don't want to. I've retired, so sod off. Oh, nice bloke. Must be from Glasgow. <laughs> the buses aren't running. The giveaway's all the rocks in front, Jimmy. Yeah, oh well, off you go. Cheerio then out. Well, why would he want to even catch a bus with a car here? Yes, that's your car. In you get. Now what's he going to do? Can he go down there? Ah. Ah, the plot thickens. He's shouting, get out the way. Some, get out the way or I'll run you down, he's shouting. Ah. Oh dear, outside, never mind. <laughs> The end is near. Yeah, you see, he's saying, get out of the way, get out of the way, go on, shove off. <laughs> Thanks for watching. That's the end. I can guarantee it. Honest. Definitely. Indubitably. <laughs>